When you think about protecting your car from thieves, one area you probably don't consider is the safety of your headlights. I mean, why would you? There's not much going on there, and how would a headlight allow a thief to jack your ride anyway? Well, it turns out there's a lot going on with your lamps, and thieves can now, in fact, unlock your car and motor away right through your headlights. The eyes are the window to the soul, right? A car's headlights can be viewed in the same way. But more specifically, your car is an extremely wired up piece of equipment these days. And your headlights tap into the entire nervous system that is a part of a modern vehicle. Inside your vehicle is a CAN bus. A bus is a network of communication between electric components and CAN stands for Controller Area Network. So the CAN bus is essentially the standardized network language controller that allows these very different systems to talk to each other and also prioritizes which messages are sent and received and in what order. The first car to utilize this setup, the W140 generation Mercedes-Benz S-Class. And today, Every new car you buy in the United States has a system like this, and it also ties into the OBD2 or onboard diagnostic system. So what does this have to do with car theft? Basically, if a car thief can gain access to this system, then they can gain access to all of the systems within the car. They can roll down windows, open sunroofs, unlock doors, and start the vehicle. It's pretty insane how the headlight fits into all of this though, but researchers have discovered that hackers have created a tool that lets thieves tap into the CAN bus via the lights. Headlights have gotten incredibly complex these days. They have leveling and angle adjustment features. There are auto dimming and auto high beam options. And Audi has headlights with lasers that can fine tune the beams around oncoming traffic or pedestrians so as not to blind them. Headlights can do a lot. And that means they also tie into the overall brain of the car. They also happen to be one of the easiest points of entry for the car thief. Essentially, a thief wielding this special tool, which is called a CAN injector, simply needs to reach the wiring into the headlight. Once that's available, you link up the tool and then you now have control over the car. Your alarm is rendered useless. Your locks open up and your vehicle will do what the thief wants it to do. And most likely, what they want it to do is get the hell out of the seemingly protected space of your garage, driveway, or street. This all, of course, sounds fairly terrifying, especially if you have a sweet ride and you already worry about someone stealing it. However, once automakers learn about these sort of vulnerabilities, they begin to close the loopholes. And this is often a software fix, which means once the patch is created, it can be sent out via an over-the-air update or with a quick trip to the local dealership. Or you could just buy an older car off Auto Trader if you're so inclined, like this 1986 Jag, which the only electronics I worry about are the ones that keep it running and, you know, it, it has Lucas Electronics, but whatever. Still, the hackers and the thieves are smart, and the cat and mouse game will continue. Car thieves suck, but I'm pretty amazed at the ingenuity of this one. <laughs>